oh, I was scared to death. Uh, I went to the producer's office, and Mel opened the door, and I saw Zero Mostel in the background, and Mel said, come on in, come on in. Z, he called Zero Mostel Z, Z, this is Gene, Gene, this is Z. I put out my hand to shake hands with him, and he pulled me up to him, and he kissed me on the lips. And I thought at first he's trying to be funny, and then I thought, no, he knows about actors and my nervousness. He wants the nervousness to go away, and it did. It flew away after that kiss, and then I gave a very good reading with him, and he said yes, and that was it. But he was unique. Zero Mostel was uh, a very... Mm, brilliant, funny, wildly crazy uh, comic in nightclubs and then on stage and then he got blacklisted for being, what would you call it, for being a little pink, you know, a little too close to communism. Well, he wasn't a communist, but they thought, I mean, so many people were blacklisted because of their names, even. Um, and he couldn't get any work in films. And Burgess Meredith put on an off-Broadway show called Ulysses in Nighttown from James Joyce. And he was wonderful in it. And then he did Rhinoceros on Broadway, Eugene Ionesco. And then he did a funny thing happened on the way to the Forum, and then he did Fiddler on the Roof, and then they asked him to do movies again. But for a while there, whenever we had lunch together during the filming of the producers, everyone left the studio, and he and I would have a sandwich together, and he would tell me about his blacklisting days. And he wasn't afraid of authority figures anymore. He, he, he would rather just if they're talking something serious, he'd let out a big fart and say, oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to interrupt you. You know, that was his kind of humor um, because he was tired of being afraid of authorities. 